Okay, I'm back at the Raleigh dump. Just getting started. I just dug this coin up about five inches deep. Which is weird because it's definitely not old. It's got a tone on it like it's been in the ground for a long time. But it's obviously a modern nickel. Alright, I found this marble. Not, nothing too special. I'm down a good three feet at least. I just now hit a bottle. I was digging away. Not hitting the layer yet, and then all of a sudden I slammed into that. So hopefully I didn't crack it right about there. Because you never want to crack a 1910 soda bottle. Feels broken. Oh my god, it's about time. I don't understand why I never find Pepsis, but that is actually the first early Pepsi I found in here. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Broken, of course, but I can saw it off right about there. Some people sell these sawed off glasses for like $25 a piece. Sometimes they sell them for more than the whole bottle is worth. I was just digging and I got this stuck on the end of my shovel. That's a little bit upsetting because this is a pewter top for a whiskey flask from about 1907. So it has a fresh cut in it so I don't know if I can push that back together and still have it displayable. But a moment later I dug this up. It's obviously brass. I don't see any writing on it but I'll bring it home just in case. Okay, back from my lunch break. We're just on top of the layer now. Okay, I see one. Wow, oh, it's just a slick it's a big eight ounces, so probably the next one will be embossed. Okay, I'm down in the good layer now. I'm gonna be pulling some bottles out any second. Okay, there's something right there. Broken of course. Okay, it looks like a big whiskey, or what's left of it. No embossing though, so no loss there. Oh man, I'm getting into a crunchy layer. There's a part of a Richmond, Virginia flask. And what's this one? I don't see any embossing on that one. Okay. It's a saloon dump. Got a flask top there, and another one there, and another one there. I feel something interesting. What is it, a brick? Yep. Yeah. What, two more whiskey necks right there? It's five of them in 30 seconds. broken flask. I don't see anything written on that one. And another whiskey top. And yet another one. And a number of other tops just came out and I didn't film them. Everything's broken and I think I just found an embossed one, or part of one. Looks like a dispensary flask. Yeah, it's another 200 and whatever they go for these days. At least $200. At least 20 broken flasks were just pulled out of here within three or four minutes. And I just pulled this one out.
to North Carolina would have been worth I don't know what but at least 150 okay just pulled this thing out not sure what that is doesn't look familiar to me at all oh and then I found another broken embossed flask I don't think that one was worth very much being from Baltimore but we are just finding so much glass it's crazy I feel the whole bottle down here Looks like it's just going to be a catch-up. Feels like some more stuff down there. Keep hooking on to something. Okay, we got something else. And another thing right next to it. Oh, that's broken, of course. So many things thrown in here, everything broke. A whiskey fifth with an odd twisted neck. Could have been a fancy embossed one. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing out. Could be a soda, so I better be a little more careful with it. No, it's just a beer. It is embossed though. Pretty interesting embossment, but these are fairly common. Okay, let's get that sauce out of there. Yep, nothing special about that one. Okay, we probably have an intact flask coming up finally. I might have found as many as 30 broken ones already. This one's amber, which usually means it's unembossed but you never know if it is embossed it's probably not going to be North Carolina though okay it's in one piece but no embossing on it anyway it's worth maybe three and a half dollars in an antique shop Alright, I got a flask sticking out. It's a kind of an odd one with a really short neck, early screw top, kind of a specialty flask, maybe from a saloon. Not necessarily an embossed one though. I'm sure there's plenty of saloon flasks with just paper labels on them. ready. Don't want to break one of the few that managed not to break on its own. Okay. Uh, too bad. No embossing, but it does have a slug plate for some reason. See the edge of that rectangular slug on there. But it's still pretty nice for a slick bottle. Alright, I got three bottles showing right now. Right there. Right there. And right here. They all look like they're amber. None of them look like they're going to be anything special either. But you never can tell until you get them out. Okay, what have we got? It's some kind of a chemical or medicine. It's kind of an odd one. Kind of a smaller one. So it's kind of cool for a slick anyway. What about this other one? Nope, better loosen it up a bit. It's another small chemical, no embossing on that either. So what about the third one? I 
It is also slick. Come on, I need some embossed stuff. And five seconds later, I got my request. But no, I don't mean broken embossed ones. And another one a minute later. Okay, we got a cobalt something or other. A lot of cobalt inks come out of here, so could it be one of those? No, I don't think so. It is embossed at least. It's a Warner and Company. It's a medicine company. But I suppose you could call it a chemical as well. So that's a good one. It's worth at least ten dollars. And the broken whiskeys just keep on coming. And another. And yet another. And we got another ketchup. Should I even bother to show you this kind of stuff? Well, I'll make it quick so you won't be wasting time watching junkers. Yeah, it's a slick. Oh man, that's probably a $400 bottle if it wasn't broken. These are the dispensary from Raleigh that is the odd one. Not a slug plate, but three lines of embossing. Seems like almost an hour later, but I'm finally getting another bottle showing up. broken slick anyway but it still has the paper label 15 seconds later I have another one showing up okay is it embossed it is but it's just a Sloan's nerve and bone liniment all right I think I know what this is it's a dental bottle but if it was going to be embossed, it would have been embossed right there. It has a little hole in the corner. But it still looks pretty nice. Oh, got a flask right here also. It's kind of in there. I better loosen it up a bit. Hmm, nope, but this side is embossed. Not a dispensary or saloon flask, but pretty nice for one that just says full half pint. I've actually never found a whole one of these, but I found probably five or six broken ones in here. Okay, something just showed up. I'll have to get down there and find out what it is. Hmm. Nope. No skull and crossbones poison or anything good like that. Just another slick. Okay, looks like I got another amber flash showing up. Well, at least it has those fancy ribs on it, but no embossing. Okay, found another amber chemical type bottle, and I also found this ink. Surely will turn purple. And then a broken bitter quill. Okay, I got another amber something or other showing up. blob top but it's obviously from England but it could be from the late 90s okay we got something this 
slick again. So we're digging the main layer, but as you can see, I just dug a hole an extra foot and a half deep because there actually is another layer way down there. And I just pulled this out. It's kind of black glass. It's got some kind of patent date of 1862 on it. So it's pretty sparse down there. But if it's going to have stuff from the 1870s, I probably should dig it. Can you see the 1862 on it? Uh, usually I usually don't have to worry about cave-ins, but just had a few hundred pounds fall down behind me. And you can see it's going over to the hole I dug the last time. found another broken North Carolina flask. I hate finding broken valuable stuff like that. Alright, got another amber bottle. Must be amber day. Better be careful. It's pretty hard to dig holding the camera with the right hand. I'm trying to dig it with my left hand. Okay, it has some embossing on the sides. Hmm, interesting. I can't say as I've ever seen one like it. What city is it? No, it doesn't have the city name. It has the same thing on both sides. Pretty interesting. Of course, it's, uh, it's blown in the mold. So that might be worth something. I just snagged a bottle and it looks like it's going to be a soda. Yep, and I don't even recognize what this is. Oh my god, is that done, North Carolina? Sure looks like it. That's very odd for that to be over here. No done bottling works. Done and see. It's worth more than a hundred dollars, I'm sure. Getting way down there. The test pit's not proving to have very much in it. I'm actually hitting water now at the six foot level. It's just too sparse. And there's no room left on the tarp, so I'm just gonna tunnel it out. This is only about half the whiskey necks that I found today. I think I should bring these back home for repair purposes. And I found this. Somebody could make a really thick arrowhead out of that. I'm gonna leave some sodas down there for somebody to dig in the future. They're all damaged. So they're really not worth anything. Okay, I'm back home. I got the better bottles cleaned up. I've had one of these before. I don't remember how much I sold it for, but I think it was either $175 or $200. So that's definitely a good score there. And yep, there's nothing wrong with it. No chips or cracks or bruises. Just needs to get the rust off of it and then tumble it for a few days and it will be absolutely perfect. And the King Drugstore, it's in near mint condition, just has some flakes off the lip, but that's a pretty rare one, so I'm sure I can get about 25, maybe as much as 30 out of that. And the Oakland Chemical Company, it's not that rare of a bottle. But, the fact that it's this large is pretty unusual. Yeah, I found about five of these in my 32 years of digging. But, they were a lot smaller than this one is. And then we got this odd shaped bottle. It's kind of got a blob top. It's got the Baltimore loop seal. Got that inner lip. I don't know what you call this thing, but it's actually embossed on the bottom. It 
Abilene Natural Cataric Water. It's too bad it's not embossed like that on the front. But I've never seen one of these before. So it still might be a $20 or $30 bottle. Well, that's it for this week's video.